If Dustin Poirier manages to secure victory over UFC lightweight champion Islam Makachev in their upcoming bout, it might signal the end of an era for him. Fresh from his triumphant return to the octagon at UFC 299, where he secured a second-round knockout win over Benoit Saint-Denis, Poirier has set his sights on capturing the lightweight title. His opportunity arose after Armin Zarukyan declined a short-notice offer to face Makachev, leading to Poirier stepping in as the headline attraction for UFC 302 in June. In a recent interview on the Fight Bananas show, Poirier hinted at the possibility of retirement if he emerges victorious against Makachev. While he emphasized that no official decision has been made, Poirier acknowledged that capturing UFC gold might prompt him to hang up his gloves. Acknowledging that he still possesses the skill and drive to compete at the highest level, Poirier also expressed contemplation about the toll that continued involvement in the sport could take. He emphasized the need to assess his passion for fighting and the sacrifices required to remain at the pinnacle of the sport. Despite being labeled as the underdog for his upcoming bout, with Makachev being the favorite according to MGM odds, Poirier remains undeterred. He views the fight as an opportunity to prove his capabilities once again and potentially cap off his illustrious career with a monumental achievement. Should Poirier defy the odds and emerge victorious against Makachev, it could mark the culmination of a storied career in mixed martial arts for the diamond. A highly anticipated UFC featherweight clash between Arnold Allen and Giga Chikadze has been confirmed for UFC 304 on July 27. Arnold and Giga will add to what promises to be an exciting card for the promotion's return to the UK, set to take place in Manchester. UFC champions Tom Aspinall and Leon Edwards are also expected to defend their titles on the same card. For Allen, this fight marks a comeback after his recent loss to Mavsar Evloyev at UFC 297 earlier this year. After maintaining an undefeated record in his first 10 UFC fights, Allen is determined to reclaim his winning momentum against Giga. On the other hand, Giga is eager to bounce back from his previous defeat to Calvin Cater in January 2022. Despite his setback, he secured a unanimous decision victory over Alex Caceres in August, showcasing his striking prowess. Both fighters are aiming to assert themselves in the competitive featherweight division, which is awaiting the outcome of Ilya Topuria's first title defense against either Max Holloway or Brian Ortega later in the year. With Allen eyeing a potential rematch with Holloway and Giga showcasing his striking skills, their bout promises to be a highlight of UFC 304. Stay tuned for more updates on the full fight card as it gets finalized in the coming weeks. Paige Van Zen wasn't about to let Dylan Donnies run his mouth unchecked on social media. Known for his incessant chatter, Donnie's found himself on the receiving end of Paige's rebuttal after his salty response to her comments on crossover fighters. In a promotional video for her upcoming match against L. Brooke, she remarked on Donnie's lack of authenticity as a fighter. Naturally, Donnie's couldn't resist firing back, resorting to personal jabs and veiled threats involving Paige's husband, Austin Vanderford. Dylan said this. How fast they forget. Relax Paige baby, just because I didn't wife you doesn't mean you have to be petty. Don't make me bring up our two trips to Vegas and ruin your marriage. Unfazed by Donnie's antics, she addressed the situation head on, setting the record straight and not pulling any punches. She called out Donnie's for his attempt to stir up drama and emphasized that his response only reflected poorly on himself. Refusing to engage in petty exchanges, she debunked Donnie's claims of past encounters, asserting that his attempts to provoke her husband were futile. She responded to Dylan and said this. You backed yourself into a corner because now you have to come with proof of this alleged affair. The only time I remember ever seeing you in Vegas was at the UFC athlete retreat. You walked up to me in a bar, asked me to peg you in front of multiple other UFC fighters, and I laughed in your face.
That's not the definition of a relationship, is it? And stirring up drama on the internet to try and fight my husband, there's definitely better ways you can handle that. In a final blow, Paige highlighted the stark differences between herself and Donnie's, pointing out her stable personal life, genuine connections, and credible MMA background, which Donnie's could never match. With her trademark resilience, she made it clear that she wouldn't be dragged into Donnie's drama, focusing instead on her upcoming bout despite her previous setbacks in bare-knuckle boxing. In the end, her response demonstrated her strength both inside and outside the ring, refusing to be drawn into petty squabbles while remaining resolute in her pursuit of success in combat sports. Kamzat Chimaev and Michael Page are engaging in a unique exchange of skills, with Chimaev delving into striking under Page's guidance while Page explores wrestling with the formidable boars. This collaboration between two formidable fighters aims to enhance their respective arsenals in the middleweight and welterweight divisions. Expressing mutual admiration, Page took to Instagram to share his delight in training alongside Chimaev, describing him as a beast. Page, currently unbooked due to hamstring issues, is lending his expertise to Chimaev as the latter prepares for a high-stakes headliner against former middleweight champion Robert Whitaker at UFC Saudi Arabia in June. With Chimaev eyeing a showdown with Whitaker, Page's guidance could prove invaluable in ensuring a stellar performance and avoiding any potential pitfalls. Chimaev, undefeated in his professional career, has been on a hiatus since his majority decision victory over Kamaru Usman at UFC 294. Prior to that, he showcased his dominance with a submission win over Kevin Holland at UFC 279 in late 2022. Facing off against the experienced and formidable Whitaker, Chimaev is gearing up for a significant challenge. Whitaker, coming off a unanimous decision triumph over Paulo Costa at UFC 298, remains a top contender in the middleweight division despite facing some ups and downs in recent years. As Chimaev and Page join forces to refine their skills, their collaboration promises exciting prospects for their future performances in the octagon, 